it's time for fun. Hello, and welcome back to the Cubby House. It was so nice to have your friend Matt here the last two weeks, Jordan. But I'm very glad to have you around again. I'm glad to be back too. I was so sad I missed last week. What happened? The last thing I remember is God had invited Moses, his brother, and 72 others up the mountain to have a special meal. Did you find out what they ate? Oh goodness, you missed a very important story. Do you remember what Moses asked the Israelites before they went up to have the special meal? Yes, he asked them if they wanted to obey all of God's law, and they said they did. They did say yes to obeying all of God's law. Then what they did next was a bit shocking. Really? What happened? Moses went up the mountain to hear all the rules again and tell God the Israelites had said they wanted to obey him. However, when Moses came down from the mountain, he found God's people had turned away from God. They'd made their own gods. What? That must have made God so angry. It did. God said he didn't want to be with his people anymore. Oh no! What did Moses do? He prayed and asked God to forgive the people. And did God forgive them? I think so. But maybe we should listen to the video Meg and Megan have sent to find out what happens next. That's a great idea. I can't wait to hear the next Bible story and see if they've found Brownie's home. Wonderful. I'm sure you're wanting to see what's happening on the cubby boat too. Let's watch and see. Hello there and welcome to the cubby tent. We are still on the island because there's a really big storm at sea and we did not want to get stuck in it. Now we have spent time together. We've built a fire, we've gone fishing and found some yummy fruit around the island. But there's not much more to tell you. Of course there's more to tell them, Megan. I've been waiting all week to hear the next Bible story. Did God forgive his people after they built a golden cow to worship? And did Moses try to put back together the tablets he broke? That's a really great idea, Brownie, to get right into our Bible story. Why don't you grab your Bibles while I grab mine? The Israelites had disobeyed God's command to not worship other gods, and God was angry with his people. So then Moses prayed, right? He asked God to forgive them? Yes, Moses begged God to be kind and to go with his people. And God agreed. He said to make two more stone tablets, and Moses did. Moses must have been really excited. Although God's people didn't deserve to have God stay with them after their sin, God was going to forgive his people. Yes, Moses went back up on the mountain to meet with God a second time. He took the two stone tablets as well. Then God came back to meet with Moses again. He explained how he is kind and forgives sin. Then God told Moses something very special. He told Moses what his name means. Oh, like Meg means a special pearl. Oh, my name means a special pearl as well. What do you think God's name means? Mm, maybe strong and mighty? Mm, that's a very good guess. What do you think, Meg? Um, maybe the one and only God. Ooh, also an excellent, excellent guess. Well, God said his name means that he is compassionate and gracious, slow to get angry and great in love and faithfulness. This means God will be kind to us even when we don't deserve it. Wow, so God was going to journey with his people even though they sinned. God is so kind. God journeys with us even though we sin too. God forgives our sin through Jesus. Jesus shows us God's kindness so that we can be kind to others. I actually know another verse about God's name. It's Psalm 103 verse 8. It says, The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. Yes, the Bible uses these words to describe God many times. It also happens to make for a great song. Would you like to sing Psalm 103 verse 8 with me? Great. Grab an instrument. It's time for Music Time with Meg. 
The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. Psalm 103 verse 8. Psalm 103 verse 8, Psalm 103 verse 8, Psalm 103 verse 8, The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. Psalm 103 verse 8, 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 Psalm 103 verse 8. Great singing. What a great song to remind us about God's name. And it looks like the storm has passed and we can continue on our journey. Thanks, Megan. Actually, before we head back to the boat, I was wondering, Brownie, do you know what your name means? Well, Brownie is actually my nickname. My real name is Ramsey Brown. Oh, Meg, Meg, that's it, my name, my name. What about your name? My name means the Island of the Ram. My parents always told me that the island we lived on Looks like a ram from far oh, away. Brownie, that's great. How about we hike up to the tallest mountain on this island and see if we can see a ram-shaped island nearby. How exciting. It seems like we're getting very close to finding Brownie's island and returning him to his family. How about you join us next week at the Cubby House to hear our last story in Exodus and see if we've found Brownie's home. See you next week. Bye. Bye. Wow! How exciting! Yes, I think Brownie is going to get back home very soon. And I think, now that God has forgiven his people, he might come to live with them soon. Oh yes, once they build his special place, the Tabernacle. It was so exciting too to learn God's special name. Do you remember what it means? Yes, it means that God is compassionate and gracious, slow to anger, great in love and faithfulness. That's a lot of big words, but it means God will forgive his people even when they sin, as they journey with him. I can't believe we're almost at the end of the book of Exodus. I know, I can't wait to hear how it ends. I hope you join us all next week here at the Cubby House. Bye. In the Cubby House, it's time for fun.